Okay, hello boys and girls, lads and lasses. Um, I thought today I'd share a, you know, a nice quick one with you uh, that I was discussing with a colleague slash student um, just yesterday. And uh, shout out to you, Kayo. This was a great, uh, thank you for reminding me of this thing. So this one has to do with the concept that um, you know, I, for better, for lack of a better term, call the major chromatic, which is the idea that when you have a major scale such as C major, uh, you have a combination of whole steps and half steps. And whenever you reach a half step, you're going to add an extra note. So, for example, <clears throat> I will put a half step between the first and the second, the second and the third, and here I come to a half step. So I'll add any extra note. It could be a scale note above and continue, All right? Uh, and another iteration of this is where we just give a double value to that half step note. So for example, half step, half step, double, half step, half step, half step, double. Now that is, at the heart of this idea and it's at the heart of so many ideas in Barry's concept. And again, for more information on this, you can look at the video that I made on half step embellishments and uh, uh, and one of one of the early co-videos and um, the video on uh, on the major chromatic, which is a whole other uh, topic. Let me turn off the air conditioner. So let me show you the idea. So you're going to start with what most will call a C major 7, but we're going to call it a C6 with a borrow diminish, just because, I don't know, for consistency. But the, the point is, is that you're going to, this, this is the intervallic structure that you're going to use, a fifth, a third, and a fourth. Now, um, let me break it down a little further. I'm going to do that one where I use the double notes. The second, the, 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 you know, the, the next voice up is going to start that same scale, but from the fifth. Um, the one here on the seventh will start from the seventh, because it's the, the half step, so I'll do it twice. And then this one is also on a half step, and I'll do it twice. Okay, if I wanted to just do the top two, the top and the bottom, I could do it that way. This is a, a good in-between step for practicing this. I'll use the C and the E, and I'll start the scale from the root, and I'll start it from the third, but I'll do the same scale. down, I'll hold the half step, but the top note of the half step. So on the way down, I'll hold the C and the F. So in this case of the two voices, the C will get a double value. Now the C on the top will. Now the F. So now let's take that whole four voice chord and see what that sounds like. Okay, so the, the B and the E are the half steps, so I'm going to hold those. Now I like to think of these as pairs of chords, so approaching the second. Okay, you start on one, then 
do the half step move and approach the second. So you end up with a chord that's identical to the one that you're landing with. And watch it, all of them end up this way. So here, I actually don't have any half steps. So all four voices will move up. And this is where that flat three comes from. you can attribute this flat three phenomenon to this this particular scale if you were so inclined okay so now let's approach the fourth so i have the e and the b over here are half steps so i'm going to hold them and move the top two voices and i end up with okay so so far we have Going to the fifth, here's the E. None of them are held, only the E. So I will hold, I will hold them up here. Okay. Now I'm gonna hold the. Uh, uh, now the B gets held. Now the E gets held. And now the B. So one more time, bottom two, or move, the top two hold, all four move, bottom two hold, the E holds, the B holds, the E holds, the B holds. On the way down, oh, let's just do that smoothly. suggested there you can use it as an ending you know from the fourth degree it's a perfect ending chromatic in another creative way. The other video is, uh, I remember now, was the uh, the one about his, Barry Harris's move on um, Like Someone in Love. So check that one. That uses a different iteration of this where we use the scale tone up. But the truth is you can use any, any extra note for this. So I hope this was useful and uh, uh, and uh, thanks for watching. And if, if this was useful and you like these videos and they're helpful to you, please consider visiting my Patreon page, Isaac, uh, patreon.com slash Isaac Raz, uh, where you can find other goodies and, uh, you know, and you can help help support me in this endeavor. And, uh, and again, I thank you all very much for watching and I love your comments. Please continue to comment and keep the conversation going. And uh, swing out there, brothers, and swing on out there, brothers and sisters. Please stay safe. Thank you. <laughs>